Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, December 4th. I'm starting up a daily vlog. I'm exhausted. Papa's still recovering from his fall. He didn't break anything. He's just really bruised up and sore. Lucy was up a lot last night. And when Lucy's up, it means she's barking because she wants food. She's on this new medicine. Or not, she's been on it a while. And it helps her with her walking because her back legs are failing her. But the side effects are it makes her extremely thirsty, so she drinks a lot and then has a lot of accidents. And it also makes her just want food, which pugs normally want food anyway. <laughs> but now she really wants food, and when she wants something, she just will bark. And you guys have heard Lucy bark, and it's very loud. And last night, she was just having quite the time. She just was, oh, barking. If I could get her out of my dad's room, that would be better, because if she knows you're there, she's going to bark at you, because eventually you're going to get up. But, um... That doesn't work either. So anyway, it was a rough night. Hopefully we can nap later. But I have all these eBay orders to start our day. And gross, it's about $180. Um, that's gross. I do have a 30-40% off sale going on right now. And everything here, it should be for free because I'm trying to clear out as much as I can by the end of the year. So um, this is 180 is not net. And, of course, that's not including shipping supplies and taxes and all that good stuff. But right now I'm more focused on liquidating stuff than I am making, you know, a huge profit. And once the holidays are here and gone, I will shut my eBay store. Well, actually, probably maybe even like the week. Not the week, but like the day or two around Christmas. I'll probably put my store on vacation, do inventory, and then start... Um, relisting things if it's not a multi-quantity item it's going to get listed 30 days so that it will end and i can um relist it doing sell similar so it gets put up as a new item if it's multi-quantity i will do good till canceled so that the quantities don't get messed up but i'm going to go back to the way i do thing i did things before i tried list it and forget it this year it didn't work for me um, so I'm going to go back, and especially now that eBay put the sale back on, that we can do sales anytime. You know, for a while they had changed it. Things had to be listed 14 days. So then I felt like I had to list everything good till cancel because I needed to run those sales. And then they switched back. So ugh. hopefully they just don't mess with that anymore. Um, but anyway, let's go through what has sold. First is this cup and saucer, and I think it's like a salad plate set. It is winter, winterling. Uh, made in Bavaria. This is Stampin' Up! Floral Wings. This is a... What is this? An Under Armour, like a sleeveless hoodie. I don't know if it's a cover-up or just a dress. That. A model kit. Betty Boop. This is your, I don't even, why did I even get this originally? But it's an Orlando t-shirt. <laughs> uh, vintage c and say These really aren't worth that much. The ones that are worth more are the um, Disney ones or like a licensed character. But, I, you know, you, I buy cheap, so it doesn't matter. A little vintage um, golden book. Not true, tr well, not too, too vintage because it has a barcode. So it's not like the 60s ones, but... Uh, Emmett Kelly Christmas lamp, an Annalie doll, Mrs. Claus, and then the same person bought all three of these tops or dresses: Lularoe, a Maurice's top, and then this is a dress. So same person bought all those. So nice start to the day. And most of this, other than the teacup set, is pretty easy. Pretty easy to ship. Papa is able. He's up more today, um, sitting at the table, do shipping, so hopefully he is on the mend. Well, almost messed up, almost shipped that CNC, and it actually was the Disney one that sold. Um, so yeah, I was saying how these, like if you get ones that are themed completely like The Lion King or you know, a movie tie-in, those seem to do a bit better. Although I'd had this at 30 and you know, and it got put on sale, so. Um, Still fine. Still another bigger item uh, out the door. Okay, another order just came in. This Coach purse came from the Thread Up box. Uh, this one finally sold for twenty three ninety nine with free shipping. 
You can see I still have some. Those are from Thread Up Box. Um, yeah, so I got a lot of watchers on these, but again, I don't know if it's watchers of customers or it's just people who follow me, you know, watch YouTube or on social media, and then they go to my store and they just watch things. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm glad to see this one go. Got two coach left. Yeah. And then those are just general brands. I'm out at Sam's Club. I had to force myself to get out. I'm not exhausted. And it's like raining, snowing mix. But I have a bunch of stuff, including bubble wrap. And here's my situation. I've got two. I already have paper towels under the cart. So I don't have enough room. I can't see if I have them both in my cart. I'd have to go up front and get like a one of the flat things and I really don't want to so I just have this balanced on the cart and I'm pushing it as I walk ay 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 anyway there's my list I had to go to the fairway, I got root beer I had to get Drano lordy be, now I gotta go to the front this is fun this is fun, this is working your abs that's what I'm like, this is an ab workout oh my gosh, mini cookies soft, oh I like crunchy Oh, turn the corner, turn the corner. Boy, anyway, back to shopping so I can get back home to Papa. I know I've shown you guys this before, but whenever I can get the Members Mart brand of over-the-counter medicine, I will. So it's acetaminophen, it's Tylenol. You can get 325 Tylenol branded taps for $16.45 or 400. Regular price is $11.98, so already savings, but then you get the instant savings and another three bucks off. So nine bucks compared to $16.50 for the exact same thing. And I do this whenever I can get the medicine. Um, so yeah, love it. Okay, so it is now evening. Um, very busy day. Fortunately, I had the energy. I was able to go to Sam's Club and get what I needed there. I had gone to Fairway before that because I needed... Papa needed more root beer and he has he only drinks the mug brand root beer and he wants it in the bottles. And basically Fairway is the only place to get. I suppose Hy-Vee would have. I'm not going to Hy-Vee. So then I was like, well, I need Drano. And of course, I can never find the Drano. Sometimes they have it at Sam's, sometimes they don't. So I'm like, well, I can get the Drano there too. So <laughs> just like, oh my gosh. Um, then I came home and um just you know, doing things around the house, big kitchen cleanup, laundry, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I have four more eBay orders here. This represents 90, oh shoot, I had added it up, 90-ish dollars in gross sales. Um, everything here is shipping for free. I am, however, now going in and changing back to calculated shipping for things that are um, over a pound. Most things, some things will still have it, but um my hope in doing this was I really, really wanted to clear out a lot by the end of the year. And by a lot, I'm thinking I could get well under a thousand items. And I, that's just not going to happen. In the next week and a half is really when you can expect the most orders to come in. And I'm realizing I am not going to be able to move that much in the next week and a half. <clears throat> um, so I wouldn't have to inventory it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to have to face the fact that I'm going to have this stuff. And I might as well just put best offer. Or no, I'm sorry. I might as well put the shipping back on. I'm still running the deep sales. And, fi you know, financially I'm okay now as we're heading into the end of the year. Um, I've made more money than I made last year with eBay. So I'm happy with that. And just tweaking and changing things around for 2019. So I figure why push ourselves to do all this shipping, especially when it's heavy stuff, with all the packing supplies when I kind of don't have to, if I can just scale back a little and make it worthwhile, you know, specifically something like these, these four plates, um, these went for $30, but free shipping. Now Papa's going to have to wrap each one. He does bubble wrap, then the cardboard wrap, and then packing peanuts and packing paper around the box. Um, this bear is super heavy. I'm afraid he's probably over three pounds. He'll fit in a regional rate though. Uh, this jacket, again, this is going to be over a pound, although I can get that in a flat rate bubble mailer. And then these uh, vintage glasses here. So anyway, yeah, I'm now going through and just bulk editing the stuff that is, like I said, usually the stuff that's over a pound. There will be some exceptions, some things that are higher price 
that I can eat the shipping for, like the Hummels. Um, I mean, a lot of them do go first class, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, otherwise, go back to the buyer's pain shipping and uh, clothing. However, still do want to try to do free shipping if I can build it in there. I really feel like with clothing, especially on eBay, it's just so competitive and so saturated that I believe that you just have to be as competitive as possible. So free shipping, um, run a sale, have promoted listings on, you know, clothes have been selling for me, not, you know, huge right now. And again, I do have stuff super cheap, like it's up to 40% off, but at least stuff's been moving. Um, and now, like I said, that I'm pulling back from the free shipping on the other stuff. The sales will go through till the end of the year, though. I'll put my store on vacation around Christmas, inventory, get stuff relisted, adjust prices, take some things off into the consignment store if I feel they would just do better there. But hopefully now that I kind of got myself financially um, okay with um, my medical bills are paid up and taxes, which has been a big thing this past year, um, Last year, I was really sick a lot, and I just ended up having a lot of medical bills. And then because my eBay sales were so great, I had a much bigger tax bills um, than I was anticipating. So I had money saved back to pay one or the other, but they both hit me, medical bills and taxes. And I feel like I've just spent this whole year just digging out from the hole. But I'm okay now. My um, health insurance is going down by almost $300 in 2019, so that's huge huge, huge, huge savings, $300 a month that I'm not going to have to pay. And it's for the same plan, uh, just because the prices went down. So I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah. So anyway, unless we come back here and suddenly I need to buy a new snowblower and all my kitchen appliances die, which I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past it. All of them just dying at once because it's always something. Anyway. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I know yesterday's video, I didn't end up ending it because I was, or I mean, I didn't like come on and say, Hey, I'm ending it because the day just got away. But anyway, I'm going to end this one here. If you guys are liking these vlogs, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, leave any questions or comments below. Um, I did change, did I talk about my Patreon? I know the video I put out today, which I filmed like a week ahead, had the Patreon when I first launched it. And when I first launched it, I had like a $5 level. I have changed that to just like a minimum dollar, which is what Scavenger Life does. So I'm basically just treating it like a tip jar. So please don't feel like you have to say, oh, I can't, you know, do your Patreon. It's, it's just a tip jar. Some people want to do it. I've had people like send me money before through PayPal. And that's wonderful. I appreciate it. If you, there's no pressure, I'm not you know, saying, oh my gosh, I need it. It's just a tip jar. That's all it is. Just a tip jar. Um, so some people really like to do that and they want to, and that's great, but it's certainly nothing anybody has to do. And don't forget my freebies and deals group over on Facebook. I'll link that below as well. Having a lot of fun over there. I've been doing giveaways for each $100 member mark. So we hit 200 members. I did the give, um, $10 Amazon gift card. So the next will be 300. Hopefully I'll just keep growing that. It's really fun to do. I can share deals, free samples, um, free magazines, online offers, you know, different things I hear about that are going on straight to the group, which is just an easier format for people to access than posting it directly to my Facebook page. So if you're not a member of the group, again, I'll link it below, put in a request. I have to manually approve people. I don't know why I tried to get rid of that. But anyway, just send in the request and I will approve you and you will start getting the deals and the access to the giveaways. So yeah, with that, I will quit babbling, take this stuff up, get it shipped out. Tomorrow is a national day of mourning for President Bush's um, funeral. So no mail tomorrow. I expect things to be kind of quiet because it's basically now a federal holiday tomorrow. Schools are closed. Things are going to be off. So I would anticipate tomorrow to kind of be a quiet holiday type of day in terms of not really having any business things, but you never know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.